In this video we're going to be looking at how to generate a list of, it could be a list of recipes, it could be um, a list of anything, but what we're more importantly what we're going to be focusing on is how that list is displayed inside Dreamweaver. So what I've done here, I've copied and pasted some ingredients that I found off the web of um, certain food recipes. Obviously I don't want to give away and share, share my secret recipes with you guys. So what I've done is I've basically imported and copied and pasted a few of those um, a, f a few of those lists of um, different food. Um, some of them are ingredients, some of them are relaxation tips, um, and some of them I've got di um, a dictionary, the definitions of various different types of food. And I want to show you various different lists that we can work with inside Dreamweaver. The first thing here. If we have a look at on our properties panels, we've got a few things to do with lists, and when we're using lists, we're associating um, the code with the li tag, which is a list tag, which I'll show you in a second. We've got here an unordered list. So basically, if I select all of my ingredients and select the unordered list, it basically signifies bullet points inside that list. So you can have a look at how that has worked out. However, if I use a ordered list which will basically d define our numbers so that's really quite handy and if we look at the code so I'm just going to switch back to my unordered list and if we look at the code we can see the U UL tag here which defines um, unordered list and then we've got each item is listed according to the LI tag which is a list tag so we've got LI, um, LI and LI and so forth and at the bottom we should have a closing um, LI tag and a closing UL tag. If I switch this to a ordered um, list, we should see the OL tag, and which signifies a ordered list. And then we see on each listed item is LI tag, LI tag, and finally a OL tag, like so. And so I'm going to leave that onto um, an ordered list because it just makes it handy for the user to know that's step one, that's step two, step three, and so forth. So that that's quite I'm quite happy with how that's panned out and how that um, looks. If we scroll down, we've then got um, a few other things. So I've basically got quick relaxation tips. I can select these and we can put that in unordered list, and you can see Dreamweaver places the spacing all together and creates and generates a nice um, a list which is an unordered list. At the bottom here I've got food um, dictionary which is basically definitions and one one parameter which is hiding associated with lists is a definition list. So what I'm going to do is select all of these here and I'm just going to scroll up a bit so we can have a look and I'm going to go to text and we need to go to list and we need to select definition list now this option is not available in the properties panel it basically hides under this menu option if we select definition list you can see that Dreamweaver basically creates a definition list and it groups all of these definitions together so it creates the space between the titling accordingly and the definition below so that works out quite well too and that displays properly as a definition list and you'll see this in a web design throughout when you're browsing um, the web. If we have a look at the code, we can see um, the DL tag, um, here it is, the closing tag, which is uh, the definition list tag, and you can see the opening tag there and the closing tag there. And each item is listed as um, DT, which is a definition term, and, um, and we can see that uh, DT right here, which is the definition term. chicken so we can go back here and we can see the definition term as chicken so a few things to do with tags we've got the li which is each which is a list tag which is each item being listed we've then got the ul tag which was an unordered list which is the bullet points we've then got the ol tag which is the ordered list and we've got the dl tag which is the definition list we've got a dt definition term as well in there so that's to do with lists and we can actually manually go and create our list it's relatively quite easy to do in um, in code view if you wanted if you're feeling a bit lazy you can always use the properties panel or the text um, parameter up here as well